join my Patreon at patreon.com slash bunnytails for the full uncut reactions. Thank you for watching. Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm really excited to be watching more Avatar The Last Airbender. The last couple episodes with regards to the boiling rock, we had a lot of things that happened and changed. And even previous to that with the like firebending master episode and things like that. So Aang and Zuko can now start to learn firebending in the proper way, in the original way. Sokka and Katara's father is back. And Mei and Tai Li went against Azula. And I think, I don't remember exactly what happened to them. I think they got captured maybe or something. I don't remember them escaping. But yeah, lots of crazy stuff is happening. And today the episode is called The Southern Raiders. I hope you guys enjoy today's episode. And I'll see you guys in the comments. Oh yeah, and we added some other new person to our our team here wonder what if we're gonna learn his story a bomb oh no well, that is really cool defensive mechanism what are you doing saving your life rocks from crushing you you can get off me now I'll take that as a thank you. She just, she needs more time. <laughs> Go ahead. I'll hold them off. I think this is a family visit. I thought it said, I think this is family shit for a second. <laughs> I read that so wrong. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's Azula. I had a feeling. I'm about to celebrate becoming an only child. She is just very angry, I would assume. Oh, this beautiful structure is being destroyed. I guess that tends to happen a lot in this show. <laughs> oh no! Appa will get him. We need to split up. No! The Fire Nation can't separate our family again. It's not forever. They'll always find each other again. Okay, so Zuko... Maybe we're not going to catch him. Out. Nice shield! There he is. How'd he get back up there? I wonder if he learned how to do like what Azula does and uses the fire to propel himself. I think you might need blue fire to do that though. Ooh, this episode's just really uh gets right into it huh oh shit nice she's not gonna make it well how did you get back up of course she did <sighs> of course she did she's not very nice but she's fucking cool when she does her shit Tezuko. Here, here. I don't deserve this. Yeah, no kidding. This isn't fair. Everyone else seems to trust me now. I was the first person to trust you, remember? Mm -hmm. Back in Bossing Se. Mm -hmm. And you turned around and betrayed me. What can I do to make it up to you? Maybe you could reconquer Bossing Se in the name of the Earth King. Or I know, you could bring my mother back. Well, he didn't. That wasn't his fault. Neither of those things were his fault. Oops. Wrong tent. Do you need to talk to Sokka too? Nope. Not me. <laughs> she wanted to say hi to her well, boyfriend. Hello. No. <laughs> uh, Zuko, yes. Why would I be expecting anyone different? <laughs> <laughs> oh, they had a date planned. But I want you to tell me what happened to your mother. I think somehow she's connected her anger about that to her anger at me. It's not a day I like to remember. Oh no, am I prepared for this? <laughs> oh, they're so cute. <laughs> oh, well, we had... I didn't know we'd lost our mother. Can you remember any details about the soldiers who raided your village? The main ship had flags with sea ravens on them. Thanks, Sokka. <sighs> I thought he'd never leave. <laughs> so he... <laughs> 
<laughs> Wait, so I thought she died. She was just captured? I know who killed your mother. And I'm going to help you find him. Oh. I I'm so confused if they took her. Then how do they know if she's to take a dead? Field trip with Zuko? Yes, it is. It's her turn. Everybody else had their turn. We're going to find the man who took my mother from me. Um, and what exactly do you think this will accomplish? This is about getting closure and justice. I think it's about getting revenge. Maybe that's what he deserves. Katara, you sound like Jet. Ooh. Katara, she was my mother too. But I think Aang might be right. Then you didn't love her the way I did. Katara. I feel like I have no choice. You do have a choice. Forgiveness. That's the same as doing nothing. It's easy to do nothing, but it's hard to forgive. Aang sounds so wise right now. I mean, he's right. So you were just gonna take Appa anyway? It's okay, because I forgive you. That give you any ideas? <laughs> you can't force you somebody to, to... You need to face this man. Yeah, she needs to figure this out on her own. Please don't choose revenge. Let your anger out, and then let it go. Okay, we'll be sure to do that, Guru Goody Goody. Mm. I'm feeling a little bit conflicted about how, how Zuko is talking right now. You should get some rest. You'll need all your strength. No, oh, don't you worry about my strength. I have plenty. From anger? See, like, Zuko just learned how to not use his anger like like he had been. Mom! Just let her go, and I'll give you the information you want. Dad! Dad! Please! I think Mom's in trouble! Kaya! When we got there, the man was gone. And so was she. Well, now I'm be beginning to suspect that she's not even dead. It's the Southern Raiders. Let's do this. So there it was, and I was like, you know, it was ah! <laughs> I don't know why that was so funny. <laughs> All right, who's this leader guy? Ah! Oh man. See, she can't think straight when she's like this. I don't think she has her emotions in line. Are you ready to face him? Zuko does understand about. He, he understands losing a mother how much pain oh my god i'm sorry i just realized she's blood bending oh man it's not him you must be looking for yan ra he retired four years ago oh there's a new leader now she blood bended and she was so against it and she cried when she used it before because she she didn't want to, yeah, but now she's crying again, but it's a different reason. Something. Yes, mother. The tomato carrot from your garden are too hard for my gums. Even their plants are hybrid. Their You're veggies. I need to the market and buy me some real food. Jeez, she's not very nice. Hello? Did you see someone? Get her some bananas. You guys have bananas, right? Just regular old banana? That was him. That was the monster. He's old now. He's real old. Do you know who I am? Oh, you better remember me like your life depends on it. You're the little water tribe girl. He remembers? Mom, I'm scared. Go find your dad, sweetie. Who's the waterbender? There are no waterbenders here. Oh, Katara. We're not leaving until we find the waterbender. She's gonna say it's her. It's me. Take me as your prisoner. I'm afraid I'm not taking prisoners today. She lied to you. She was protecting the last waterbender. Who? Me! Whoa. Whoa. Okay, Katara's scary when she's angry. I did a bad thing. 
and you deserve revenge. So why don't you take my mother? Wait a minute. I think I understand. There's just nothing inside you. Nothing at all. I mean, I understand. You're pathetic and sad and empty. Wanting to get rid of his mother, but damn. He would trade her for himself? I just can't do it. Ah, uh, I think maybe we should kill him. He's pissing me off. It's that stupid <laughs> smile. Ugh. I'm feeling like Katara right now. Just... Where do we go from here? Zuko told me what you did. I'm proud of you. I wanted to do it. You did the right thing. Forgiveness is the first step you have to take to begin healing. I don't know if she forgives him, though. But I didn't forgive him. Mm -mm. I'll never forgive him. But I am ready to forgive you. Oh my god, she hugged him? What? Violence wasn't the answer. It never is. Then I have a question for you. What are you going to do when you face my father? Oh... Are you fucking kidding me? That I thought we were like halfway through the episode. Okay, so I guess I got a little bit confused because they I just remembered that a lot of you guys have explained to me in the past that they they have to kind of dance around the word of like kill or things like that. So I thought like using the terms like they took her away you know, I lost my mother. She was gone. I was thinking like more in a literal sense, but I guess they were meaning it in a more like synonymous with she died. She was killed. When they came back, he was gone, but so was she. She probably wasn't physically removed, but she was gone from this mortal plane. I almost thought that like they were going to find out that she was alive or something. But as strange as it might sound, I'm glad they didn't go that direction to where, like, she actually is alive. Because I just don't know what kind of purpose that would have served. Okay, I've been sitting here for the past five minutes or so trying to figure out what I feel about this episode. Because I don't think it's a bad episode. I don't- I didn't dislike it or anything, but something about it feels like it's- it wasn't my favorite episode. And I think it's a lot of reasons. One, I think I'm just getting a little bit worn out on like the angry Katara. It's not my favorite side of her. And I'm probably wrong about this, but I feel like just on this initial viewing, Zuko felt a little bit out of character, like he, he was kind of taking a step backwards. And I'm sure there's like a reason for it, but lately he seems to be as each episode goes on, he seems to be more and more like his uncle. And this was just very the opposite of that. It was just kind of a weird dynamic for me. And lastly, I mean, these are all really small nitpicks, but I'm just trying to like figure out my, my feelings. <laughs> um, it, it was just kind of predictable. So Aang says, don't, don't kill him. Don't get revenge. She says, I need this. She realizes when she gets there that that's not what she needs and then she doesn't do it. I guess I've seen that a lot of times, maybe too many times. But yeah, those are some of the things that I think maybe left me feeling a little bit less excited about that episode than I was the previous ones where Zuko went off with Aang and then Zuko went off with Sokka. Um, this one didn't hit quite as much for me. One of the things I thought was interesting, I feel like Zuko has kind of mixed feelings about his sister because I just feel like part of him like wants her to change and you know he wants to have his sister somebody somebody that he can love as a sister and I'm sure not every memory he has with her is a bad one and he wants those good parts of his sister and he doesn't want to lose her but then at the same time like he also feels like the opposite about her. She's horrible. She's been horrible to me. She's doing all these bad things, you know, with with their father, hurting people. She's hateful. She's prideful. She doesn't seem to really care about other people. But when she was falling, he said, she's not going to make it. And he seemed upset. And then when she was able to catch herself, 
he switched to like the oh of course of course she made it so it's just kind of like this kind of inner war that's going on that i think might come up later i don't know don't tell me and he also asks, like you know if violence isn't the answer what are you gonna do with my father to ang and i think for the first time thinking or realizing that he could lose his sister is making him think about like all these things with his father and it's yeah that that part really intrigues me and really interests me because what are their options they could kill ozai they could try to capture him they could persuade him to be as they say good because we know that there is good inside of him it just didn't win out for a long time maybe the end in the end it will he wouldn't have been roku's best friend if he was just completely bad so now zuko is fully integrated into the squad he's had his moment with Aang with Sokka and now with Katara even ending in a hug which was really sweet so yeah good episode just maybe not as much as the previous ones that's it that's it that's it don't don't come at me <laughs> what did you guys think maybe some of you guys agree with me maybe some of you guys are gonna yell at me but um I can't wait to see the next one I'll see you guys then have a good one bye bye